Right, we're back. The vlog's back. <laughs> Fight we vlogs this time. Usually we do a vlog at the end of when everything's all said and done, but we're gonna give some gonna give you some vlogs throughout the week. Cause why not? Spice Man's here, Justin's here, he's gonna be editing like a MF. I'm gonna try to keep a cursing down. Keep my ma. She's very not happy. she's very much not happy with me. <laughs> but uh, we're here, we got in Surly last night, travel was fine. Went to Heathrow, Heathrow to Riyadh, it was like six and a half hours, easy travel, wee bums, rod out it, stared at a blank seat the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first vlog, mm -hmm. let's go. So yeah, just pull it and then if, if I don't beat Greg, then we cut this, all this. <laughs> I'm gonna put Greg's in it before you. Yeah, 131. With the left? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 131's good. Yeah. That's all right. That's right now, of all people, you're third place. I'll take it. I'll I was take first. It. Clip Hang on. on. Clip it. <laughs> he only got 150 something, right? Yeah. Where's Ngali? Where is he? Well, we're gonna get him. Go <laughs> find him. You don't think it's bad luck to hold the bell? Nah, I, well, I'm not fighting for a belt, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. But wouldn't it be great if BFL just put on another belt for me and AJ's fight? I think it's belt worthy, you know? These are badass. The vlog's on. Yeah, boys. Oh, hello. Trying to convince BFL to put on another belt for my fight. Super fight? What do you think? I'm Basically, down. it's a super fight. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm down for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're not too cheap to buy. They said there's like a lot of gold in these. Yeah, it's about half a kilo, isn't it? It's about and a half kilo. Pants, I have pants. <laughs> Maybe that's a belt. Maybe it's in their future. 100% made that up. <laughs> What's this? Where do you get the 12 and a half pound from? It's in the thing of the promotion of it, isn't it? Yeah. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> and would well, you want to do a little bit of oil just to give you a little bit of a shine? I would like that, but I'm not yeah, gonna, I'm not gonna uh, make you one way or the other. <laughs> you gotta do it yourself. Oh, let's, go, let's, let's go, let's go, we did it. Let's go, we did it. Mike did it. Nah, we're getting yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> 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 we're getting there. Yeah, I should probably see this because there's some nasty elbows right here. And then I. And this was in Dublin. Yeah. This was me. I hosted like one hour here. Photos done. Yes, sir. Video shoot now. And then a commentator meeting. This in. Yeah. Um, I getting all this done today on Tuesday. Tomorrow we have face to face. Um. Interviews like a gloves are off kind of thing, which I'm looking forward to. You know what I'm like. Um, I like to look the guy in the eye that I'm fighting. It just gets me in the zone. But I'm looking forward to that, feeling the energy, seeing seeing what AJ's like, and then and then we have to go do I think face-offs at a castle or some shit. I don't know tomorrow, but it's all fun. It's all nice. fun. Speed. All good, Corey. Cool, Paul. How you doing, man? This is Corey. I'm a research producer for Bellator and BFL. Doing great, Corey. How are you? Doing good, man. So this is going to air right before you walk to the cage. So, you know, just something to kind of get the fans excited about your fight. But first off, just a little bit about your background. So how did you first get involved in martial arts? Like, what led you on this path that you're on today? So I was heavily involved uh, in playing Irish sports whenever I grew up as a kid. So I loved competition from an early age and I found MMA at 15 years old and that was me absolutely hooked. The ultimate form of competition as I would say. There you are. Nice uh, shirt short, man. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Thank you, man. Yeah. That's done. That's done. We got one more thing to do today and that is uh, meeting with the commentators for all that kind of stuff. So Dan Hardy. I guess Sean O'Connell and whoever else they have on. But we'll do that. That's at 7 p.m. We've got a bit of time to kill now. In fact, we'll actually, we're gonna go down and get some training in after. Get a wee sweat on. 
that'll bring us to dinner time. I think it's steaks on the cars tonight. One of the last big meals before the weight cut properly begins. So, yeah, let's keep going. Hey, Paul, how are you? Man? Doing good, man. Doing good. How are you? Good. It's, it's George and Manny. We are the Spanish commentators because the, the rest of the team, I think, they're traveling now. All good. <laughs> so, so um, first of all, I mean, can you tell us a little bit how you got signed by, by VFL? Because you, you were, you know, one of the most sought-after prospects uh, in Europe. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I, I became a free agent and the PFL came in right away and snapped me up. They made me an offer that was fantastic. They showed me a pathway that was available to me to prove myself as one of the best guys on the planet. And here we are. Right, just wanted to get moving, remember the body up a little bit. Um, we'll do a horror workout tomorrow. That'll be the last one. Get it cracking a wee bit more on the pads, get a good sweat on, get the lungs opened up, and then that'll be us then for interviews and weigh ins or face offs. So, yeah, it's great. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Yeah, fellow champs are on your hell. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, blur that out. Yes, <laughs> time to get moving. Limber the body up a little bit, get a sweat going, and then we will go back, get some food, a little bit of food, albeit. Um, and then we've got a media day, and then we've got face to face, interviews, and then face offs tonight. So, good day in store. Let's go. Let's what do you got to say about that, Pat? Let's go, coach. That's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad to be in the UFC gym anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're a coach in here now, are you? How they came in last night, had to take a class, had to pay for the week, pay, <laughs> pay Shando's weekly fees, take two classes to get Paul and yourself free <laughs> membership. <laughs> so this is great. He coaches BFL. All right, Pat. That's it. BFL coach. Nah, this is just a little bit of green zone work. I like to do just get the blood pumping everywhere, but get the lungs opened up as well. Because so obviously you're kind of in the air con a lot here. I'd say it's very human as well, so I'm just doing a bit of movement. A bit of shadow boxing, a bit of footwork. Sharpens everything up, keeps everything sweet. A good bit of mobility, keep the, keep the joints moving. And then a bit of green zone to finish here. As I say, just pump the blood around the body. Get that sweat on, get the lungs opened up. And then, I'm gonna head in. There is a steam room and a nice bath in there too, which is amazing. Um, gym's just right beside the hotel here, so it's a great asset for the week. So I'll go do that. And then we'll be down for the face-offs. few weeks holy you, fuck you love it absolutely mental but all part of the game all part of the game but i always like i don't dread i don't dread it in any way but when you get going you always get a wee bit of adrenaline going um so i don't have to worry like what's 
so if everyone understands, you know, this level of competition, this, this level of name you're getting this early in your PFL run. I'm not surprised. You know, when I came to the PFL, these are the types of fights that I asked for. You know, I asked for all the big names right away. Um, whenever I finished Bobby King, my first fight, then obviously this pay-per-view came up. PFL obviously wanted to put on good fights, and AJ and myself were both available, and it came around. Doing so many interviews, you do get you get sharp, you know. So that's just a breeze to do that. Very enjoyable though, uh, to be honest. Uh, and some really good questions. So yeah, awesome. Face to face time. <laughs> Scary sight, isn't it? Hmm? It's so intimidating. What are you gonna My say? Little baby face. I'm gonna say, AJ, you're. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Is that a rap? Are you gonna rap for me? Oh, AJ. Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> Fang kicks off. Shando, what are you gonna do? Many things. <laughs> He's got a lot of tools. Got a lot of tools. Got a lot of tools. Hey, Liam Neeson. Yeah. Not quite sure what I'll do. <laughs> Shando will just hypnotize him with his words. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> hey, what do you call so it is, sir? We don't know. Mean. Know what I mean? So yeah, they'll be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like in front of each of their faces. Yeah. All right. So let's mark that. I'm joined by two fighters that have been sucking up a lot of the attention coming into this uh, Battle of the Giants card. Uh, a, a fight that nobody saw coming, but as soon as it was made, everybody wants to watch it. AJ McKee, Paul Hughes. So for the for the fans out there that are saying why are you running before you can walk, mm -hmm. what are you saying to those guys? Look, for those people who say that it's kind of too much too soon, the only people saying that are people who don't really know my career. They don't know what I've been through to get here. They don't know the level of competition I've fought regionally and the stakes of this of them bouts as well. Maybe harder to judge that being from America as AJ is, but the magnitude of these bouts in Europe, you know how big they are and how much pressure is on these and how much they can do for athletes. So I've already been through the ringer there, fought all the best guys and I beat them all. So this is just another opportunity for me. Another high pressure opportunity, but another great opportunity. And, and talking of skills, you, you said confidently that you beat AJ in every range of this fight. But what range is he most dangerous? He's dangerous everywhere. You know, he really is. A uh, fantastic left kick, fantastic on the neck. Fantastic all rounder, you know. As I say, I have to be on my game absolutely everywhere. Did it surprise you the confidence that he had, saying that he was better than you in every range? Um, a little bit. <laughs> um, but like I've always said, you know, self belief is key. You got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you know you're blowing smoke in your own, your own, your own vision. So, um, self belief is key. If you don't believe in what you're doing, then that's you're, you're already at a loss. I did notice you talking about. Prime AJ there you mentioned when, when whenever you won the World Championship the, the the season when was Prime AJ? Oh, we're in Prime. Okay, so how many years ago was that? Four years. What the belt? When I won the title. Yeah. Three. I have no idea. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, so just far it, was some, it was some time ago. But more you, of a, you like mentioned it present. being your prime. Well, yeah, I just thought it was question. interesting. You know. Yeah, he asked the question. I just think I think we're a very very I look a lot of respect for AJ. I just think we are at very different points of our career mentally. I have absolutely everything to gain. This is everything to me. This is everything to me. I haven't made money yet. He has. You know, money creates comfort. And that's just the reality. You know, AJ, he's been getting great fights, difficult fights, but nothing crazy. We get paid well. I'm sure he's very comfortable. Seeing my name was like, I'd probably an easy enough fight, some more money in the bank. I'll take it, get a title shot after. With me, it's everything. It's absolutely everything to me. And I am in that position where AJ mentioned years ago being where he was in my position, that young, hungry kid. You can't teach that hunger. And I think it goes away at times, depending on where you're at in your career. And I just think we're in very, very different places right now. And on Saturday, I'm going to show that. 
these are one of those kind of fights that doesn't come around very often. A veteran like this taking on a prospect that's rising as fast as Paul Hughes. You don't want to miss this fight. This is going to really, really light this, light this card up. And both of these guys are supremely talented and technical and definitely capable of knocking each other out in the second round. We'll see how it plays out. Thank you both. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Good, it's good to see you, as always. Awesome. Cheers, lads. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate it. Great. Let's go to our tail slides now. Right, first vlog done. Hopefully, you enjoyed that one. Bit of behind the scenes stuff, what all goes on. Been a busy enough boy this week. Um, a lot of interviews, a lot of everything. Um, but it's all part and parcel of the game. Um, the face to face interview went well. That was a fun experience. I thoroughly enjoyed, as you can tell, probably from the clips. Um, picked a couple of holes in AJ's, uh, in his speaks, if you will. Um, I think I got him with a couple of things. I wasn't too, I wasn't trying to be anything that I'm not. I wasn't trying to be a dick or start a trash talk or slate him off or some random shit. I was just quietly confident in what I was saying and you can feel that energy and he I'm sure felt that energy I I uh, he acted how I expected him to act he's not much of a talker anyway you know that's fine I could run the rings around him if I wanted to so yeah all good in the hood first vlog done we have face offs press conference we cut me looking dead, Pat and Chando fucking down eating breakfast, <laughs> lying in the bath, dying. You were like, here, oh, throw us down some turkey sausages there. Throw us down some more toast. Oh. <laughs> Don't crack your back. <laughs> I'd be like in the bath, like, Pat, Chando, come here. Turn on David Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> David Goggins, I need some motivation. And then they're not even in the room, they're down eating breakfast. So, Justin, you might have to help me. Well. I'll be here. <laughs> All right, vlog. We'll we'll see you at the next one. Like and subscribe. Key him on. <laughs> <laughs> he says key him on all the time. <laughs>